Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero. And one of the superpowers I would love to have is super hearing. And so today, because it's Easter, I thought we could think about the Easter Bunny and see how the Easter Bunny might hear better than us. So for this, we're going to make some Easter Bunny ears. You're going to need paper, a ruler, a pencil, scissors and tape and either some colouring pencils or if you have some different coloured card or paper you can use that too. So first of all we're going to need something to attach our ears to. So we're going to take a sheet of paper and fold it in half. Fold it in half lengthways and then fold it in half again. And now you're going to cut down those lines that you just made with your scissors. So you should end up with two thin pieces like this. Now this is going to be your headband. So we're going to tape the ends together to make one long piece. And then you're going to need to measure your head. So put it around your head like this and then find where it needs to be attached and then tape the ends together. Check that it fits. It should sit just above your ears just like that. Okay, we're going to attach our ears onto this part. Now let's think about our ears. Our ears in humans are on the side of our heads, but on the Easter bunny, they're on the top. And you may have noticed if you've ever seen a bunny that bunnies can actually move their ears in different directions. And that's because they want to funnel the sound. So the outside of our ear is designed to take sound waves, which is how we hear sound, which is just little tiny vibrations in the air, and funnel them into our ear holes so that we can hear them because there are little hairs inside our ears that tell our eardrums that things are moving that tell our brain that there is sound. So the more you can funnel in, the more you can hear. And if you can move your ears towards the sound, then you can funnel in more and maybe hear better. So that's probably good for the Easter Bunny who wants to hear everything. So now you have to design your ears. You can either carry on with the sheet of paper you have, or I've got some white card here, and you're going to fold the card in half. Next, you're going to draw your bunny ear shape, whatever shape you want. I think they're going to be long with a point. Okay, when you've got that, you're going to cut along the line, making sure that you're cutting through both sides of paper, because that means they're both going to look exactly the same. Okay, I've got my two bunny ears. Now, you may notice that there are holes in our ears. Now, we're not going to put holes in these ears, although you can. Instead, I'm going to take some pink card and I'm going to cut them out to be a shape smaller to look like the inner ear of my big ear. So you're going to measure it up on here. I'm going to say it probably needs to be about this long and this skinny. Okay, and you're just going to freehand draw a teardrop shape within those dimensions and then you're going to cut those out too. Okay, so here we have my ears and my inner ears. So I'm going to put those inside there. They look very cute and you can tape those down or you can glue them if you have some glue. Okay, those are now taped down. Now you need to figure out where you would like your ears to be. So they can either go on the front or on the back. I think I'm going to tape mine onto the back. So tape them in place, just like that, and then you can try them on. Ta-da! What do you think? Do you like my Easter Bunny ears? So they're much bigger than my human ears, which means I should probably, if they work, be able to pick up the sound really well. And so there you go. That's how you make some science-based Easter Bunny ears for Easter. Have fun!